What's up guys? Welcome back to field trips. We got a tree for you today. I think this is going to be something pretty special, something pretty cool. I am back in Door County, Wisconsin, Sturgeon Bay. It's just like a legendary tourist destination, sport fisherman's paradise, if you will. And I'm going out today with a guy named John Soul. Super cool guy. I'm connected through him through Lightning Kayaks, my kayak company. And this guy's a guide out here for all kinds of species. Brown trout, giant brown trout, walleye, smallmouth bass, yellow perch, you name it basically. If it swims in Lake Michigan, this guy catches it. What he really likes to do in the summertime is salmon fish. And that's what people book him for the most. Now we're not here in the summertime. It is fall, it is chilly, but it's actually unseasonably warm today. Today we're going out for salmon that are getting ready to spawn. They're going up into the canal that basically connects Sturgeon Bay and Lake Michigan. So we're gonna talk more about it, but before we go fishing, we're gonna go check out the oldest salmon fish hatchery on Lake Michigan. They started the program for stocking the salmon in here. These salmon do not belong in the Great Lakes. They are ocean dwelling fish. We're gonna talk about that more in a bit. First, we're gonna go check out this hatchery. It's closed right now, but we're gonna go check it out anyways. See you there. So when they turn that pump on, they draw water from the canal, clean water from the canal, all the way up to this pond. Wow. The cement pond and then that starts an outflow, okay? So then it brings the clean water uh -huh. out, an outflow all the way out, back out to the canal. And then the salmon swim up there, and they swim through this culvert here and up that creek into that pond. There, there's some in here. If you wait long enough, you'll see one. But uh, normally that pond is boiling with fish. Really? Yeah, and the fish jumping up here. Water so doggone high. Yeah. That the marsh leaks it by it just doesn't, it's not conducive to, to fish habitat. The, the only fish that are stocked back in the lake at fingerling size are salmon. Really? Or king salmon. The rest of them are, are raised, you know, to that. Uh, to that yearling length, you know, you know, 10 to 12 inches. Gotcha. You know, brown trout, coho salmon, mm. rainbow trout. So um, they make that, they get them bigger before they yep, introduce Yep, yep. I wonder why, wonder why, um, why salmon, maybe they just do better. Just, they, they do, yeah. they do, they do do better. But their life cycle has a lot to do with it too and where they imprint, you know? Sure, oh so yeah. So if they, if they, you've let them go in here, you know, they imprint in this water, you know, there, there's a biological mechanism that will make them return to the exact to spot, this spot yeah. four years later. It's crazy, you know? man. So it's crazy. Yeah. So we're here at the fish hatchery. It's shut down right now because of COVID and because the lake is so high. They've got this kind of man-made system using a pump to bring water up here, and that's how they get these mature salmon to come back to the hatchery and then that's where they release the fingerlings that and eventually return here four years later. But right now the lake's so high, they've got the pump shut off, COVID, all this stuff. So right now it's just kind of a swamp. But the fish theoretically should be staged up outside this creek, kind of thinking, why can't I get in here? You know, what's going on here? Looking for a good opening. So that's kind of our theory. We're gonna go to the mouth of this, this creek and see if there's some salmon hanging out. And these are all big ones that come through here. They're all four years old. I mean, what, what do you expect to catch? Like in the teens, weight-wise? Well, you know, follow their average growth rate. You know, a four-year-old salmon can be anywhere between 15 and 25 pounds. Okay. You know? I'm excited, man. I hope we, I just wanted to see one. I don't care if you catch it or I catch it. I just want to see one. Landlocked salmon, that's new. So we just rolled up here to Madeline Harbor. Got a little bit of wind right now, but it's not too bad. We got some cloud coverage kind of coming in and out, coming and going. The cloud coverage will help us though. Low light is the key for these fish. We'll get into that more here in a bit. But we're gonna get out here and, and just see if we can find some fish first and then try a variety of lures, see if we can trick a couple into eating. John's lived down here for 33 years and this isn't a type of fishing he really does very often. Get you a Yamaha sponsorship. Yeah, baby. <laughs> He's normally going for the, the chrome salmon out in the main lake that are kind of offshore, if you will. But because of the timing, he said, if I wanted to catch a salmon, which I do, this was the place to do it. See if we can find some. We're in the Sturgeon Bay Ship Canal. This is basically, it was 
almost a cut through Sturgeon Bay, which is kind of a peninsula of land that juts up into Lake Michigan. And man, we cut through the rest of it. So there's a man-made canal that basically connects the main lake, Lake Michigan, to Green Bay, to Sturgeon Bay and then Green Bay on the inside. So Strawberry Creek, where these salmon actually go up and they go up into the fish hatchery, that is a fish refuge. We cannot fish up in the creek and we cannot fish within 500 feet of the mouth. And there's actually a guy sitting over there. He doesn't look 500 feet away to us, but we're not game wardens. We're not gonna mess with them. But yeah, we can't get too close. They protect these fish very strictly, very, man, I just saw see, whew. They're here, they're here. Uh, we can't get too close. A lot of them are jumping within that 500 feet. We can't get that close to them, but there's gotta be some more on the perimeter kind of, again, confused, they're, they're running around, they can't get up where they want to go, but they shouldn't go anywhere. They should, they should hang out right here regardless. Their drive to, to spawn is just too strong for them to do anything else. So we're liking our chances, we're seeing some life. We at least know there's fish here. The question is whether we can piss them off enough to get them to bite. So it's pretty cool, the Strawberry Creek Chinook facility was the first salmon stocking facility the first salmon stocking program here in Lake Michigan, from what I understand. Uh, back in 1969, they stocked 65,000 fingerlings. Now they average about 200,000 a year. A lot of history there, and it really, I mean, really put the Great Lakes on, on the map, I would say, as like a sport fisherman's paradise. Tons of people come here, travel here to catch these salmon. They were introduced by man. They're really ocean-dwelling fish, but because the Great Lakes are so big, they've adapted and they're thriving. They were introduced originally to control the alewife population, which those were invasive too, right? Yeah. They put those in there, huh? Yeah. So alewives came in from the Atlantic. Oh my God, man, they're they're here. That we got, guys, we got fish busting all around us. I'm gonna make this real quick. The alewives came in the Great Lakes. Oh, I just saw one come coming out of the water. <laughs> I can't get a sentence together. Alewives came in from the Atlantic Ocean, got into the Great Lakes. Their population exploded and they introduced Chinook salmon to control their populations. And now, I mean, it's really what the Great Lakes are known for, these landlocked salmon. But I'm done yapping because there are fish literally breaching the surface all around us. That, dude, that was a big one. I'm excited, man. I'm really excited right now. These uh, perch imitators are good. Now for salmon, are you working these pretty fast? Like, cause you're kind of get that reaction strike or are you still do a pretty- Just pretty, a steady retrieve. Just steady retrieve, yep. not too crazy fast. You feel something leads you to do something different. Yeah. You're working that more like a jerk bait. Huh? Yeah, I'm, yeah, this is a suspending bait, so. Yeah. You know. Right. Well, I'll do the steady retrieve. You, you be jerking and see if we get a bite, we'll double up on whatever they're wanting. I like doing different things in the same boat, you know, trying to until we figure out what they want. This thing looks great in the water. Dude, that was a monster right there. Halfway from us, this big tree over here. Yeah. Big one just came up. Thrashing. Oh, God. I can't go. Man, that's crazy. That was a big fish. One bad part about seeing fish like this everywhere is now if you don't catch them, it's about as frustrating as can be. <laughs> All right, so John suggested a lure change. I'm gonna take that guy off, put this guy on. Looks like a little rainbow trout pattern. But basically he's saying that bright colors is what you want. You just want these fish to see it. Again, they're not eating. You're not trying to match a hatch. These fish do not, they will not eat now for the rest of their lives. They will die without consuming another meal. We're just trying to piss them off and make sure they know this thing's there. So you want something bright. I would think, you ever try like lipless, like like rattle trap type things? You like could, with, I got them. With some noise, you know? Yep. Maybe if, try them. Well, I'll try this first and. Yep, I got them. I would think that might piss them off, you know? A little vibration. All right, so we're gonna start fan casting around here. 
we're seeing the guys there's fish everywhere they're jumping out of the water I, i'm struggling to get one on get them on camera for you guys but i think i've hit two i've seen 20. i mean they're big fish coming out of the water all around us it's gonna be fun or it's gonna be extra frustrating <coughs> There. Oh, and I nailed it. Nailed the cat. Oh, ran right through there. <laughs> oh. I'm so like tense though, man. I'm so like ready. You better have another red dog. <laughs> Let's take a quick minute talk a little bit about we'll do a really quick little run through of salmon life cycles for people that don't know So salmon are born up rivers normal salmon are born up a river and then they make their way down to the ocean and They live their entire life out in the ocean then at some age out in the ocean They come back head up the rivers to the exact little stream or creek or river or wherever that they were born They lay their eggs the males fertilize them and the next generation of salmon starts and they go out in the ocean. So here the landlocked salmon basically do the same thing, but instead of the ocean, they go out to the Great Lakes. So these fish are up here spawning. So salmon, when they lay their eggs and spawn, they die. That's the end of the road. So these fish are all four years old. At four years old, these landlocked salmon, they come up, they try to go up the same creek that they were born in. And all these salmon that we're looking at right here were born at the fish hatchery up in Strawberry Creek. And that's why they're back here. They're trying to get back up Strawberry Creek to lay their eggs and start the next generation. These fish do not eat the entire time. They're on this journey. Oceanic salmon over on the West Coast, they'll travel over a thousand miles up rivers, up waterfalls. You've seen them on Animal Planet. These fish don't go that far, but they're, this is all the same year class fish. So there's no dinks in here. These are all four-year-old fish. And everyone I've seen has, has been gigantic. All right, yeah, that's enough yapping. You guys get the idea. But it's pretty cool, pretty unique species, pretty unique fish, pretty unique to the animal kingdom. And nobody knows exactly how they find these exact little creeks that they spawned in, but they do. And these fish come back here every year like clockwork this time of year. And they're everywhere, but they're not eating. So we just gotta run it through the, in front of the right one's face. The wind definitely laid down. Laid down yeah, nice. nice. Everywhere I look, man, I'm seeing I see splashes. <laughs> like even way out there in the distance back towards that bridge. I'm surprised I haven't seen one just swim by the boat. Look, right out there by where I cast too. I just saw one cruising on the surface with his dorsal out like a shark. Oh my goodness. That was grass. <laughs> Just a little on edge. Seeing all these fish, I can't help but be. Look at this. <laughs> Punch him in the head with it. God, dog it. <laughs> right here, man. Slam it into his forehead, man. Hook one that way. Oh, he going? So this guy was trolling. It looks like he just hooked up. Yeah, she's going for the net. God, that's a fight. At least a couple are out here wanting to bite. They got it. They got it, huh? There it is. Nice. These guys are trolling. They're doing it the lazy man way. And I just saw one jump clean out of the water up yeah. in the distance behind them. I'm finally not freaking out every time a fish comes up. Smaller or bigger, man? Good. Nice. Got another boat hooked up over here right next to us. All the trolling guys are hooking up. We're being stubborn. We're gonna keep casting. Be a little more rewarding that way, I think. Anyway, say so. Anyway, <laughs> John seems unconvinced. <laughs> to me, anyone can just reel in the fish. You know, like that's a pretty small net. Using the old butterfly net for these oh, salmon. Nice. Oh, dude, a that's a great fish. Nice. Fish number two for this guy. I wonder if I could zoom in and see what lure he's using. Well, if he comes close, I'm gonna ask him. Now this guy's trolling, which is very effective just because you can cover a lot more water, but. To me, it's not nearly as fun. I told John I wanted to, I wanted to do some casting, but you can't argue. That's like the fourth one I've seen right here in front of us, man. Oh my god! <laughs> that fish is so big, dude. 
<laughs> oh my god. He's heading right to left. Look at him. Hit him. Literally, it's like he's coming up just like, hey, stupid humans. We're still here. I don't know how y'all haven't caught us yet. <laughs> it's your first time fishing or what? Oh, you know, because there's, they're, they're, they're yeah, just, down there too. They're just like, what crazy. the hell? Crazy. They're, they're right next to you. All right, guys, a little mid evening update. We've seen a thousand fish, all giant salmon. Nothing, nothing to show for. Luckily, we've caught some other boats, they're struggling too. That's just kind of the nature of this, this fishing. These fish are not feeding, and so just because they're here, completely different thing than whether they're willing to bite. But we're just going to stick with it, be persistent, keep casting, rolling through areas where we're seeing fish, and Hopefully, one of us will run our lure in front of the right fish that's still willing to snap at something. But they're definitely here. There's no mistake in that. I've never, I don't remember the last time I saw this many fish in one day in my life. I think you've ruined me, brother. I haven't even caught fish yet, but I think you'd be hard, hard pressed to get me to go back out perch fishing now. <laughs> nah, not after that dinner. That was worth doing again. By the way, I narrated some stuff when I got to your house today about um, what you guide for and kind of just talking about how this isn't this isn't your th this isn't what you do. You were just bringing me out here to because I wanted to catch salmon and it's the time of year. But oh no oh, no oh. yes. <laughs> are you kidding me, man? That thing's going crazy. <laughs> no, 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 it's you, brother. It's you. No, no, it's you, please. No! Just don't lose. Just, I don't, just, let's just get him. All right, you guys. Goodness gracious. After the biggest grind I've ever experienced, I think, fishing my whole life. We're on, baby. John is on. Dude, that take, that was intense. That thing zipping across the surface. Oh my God, still got them going crazy all around us. This has been so long coming, man. Take your time, take your time. Let me get the net ready. Oh, dude, that's a good one too, man. That's a dandy. <laughs> got one. May finally get a closer look at these guys. We've been looking at them all day. Freaking weeds. Yeah, man, he's all wrapped up in that grass. Just take your time, man. Don't break that line. We got time, we got time. We're in no hurry. John, the man, got one. That's a heavy fish. It's got some grass wrapped around the line. We're using pretty light tackle, light line, 10 pound test. We were doing that intentionally. We wanted this to be sporting, but with all that grass on the line right now, it's a little nerve wracking. John, you're my freaking hero. You get this fish in. I, I had given up, not gonna lie. I was acting optimistic. I was not feeling optimistic. Oh, come on, baby. I see the lure. You let me know when you're ready for the when you think it's ready for the net. Fog rolled in, overcast rolled in. The fish finally decided to play. All right, I'm gonna grab the net. Oh my God, we, we got one. <laughs> got one, dude. If you can just work them over here, we'll, we'll get the weeds off after we... Oh, I can't believe it. Man, heavy, heavy fish. It went nuts in the beginning, he's, he's chilled out now. But that's a lot of weight. We got 10 pound test line, we can't, can't force this in. We're just gonna have to take our time. John's playing it perfect. God, I can hear the strain on the... <laughs> Come here, baby. Come here. Off. Yeah, if you could swing it around this way, I could try to get them off or just net the fish. Easier said than done, I know. That's good, we're getting out in the deeper water here. Yeah, 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 we should be in the clear. Just take your time. Man, that thing went nuts in the beginning. Flopping, jumping, doing backflips. Getting close here. 
you need to pull that weed off. I've never been more nervous about a damn fish on the line in my whole life. After everything we've gone through trying to get this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna very gingerly grab your line and try to get that off. Come back, we'll come back. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. just okay. barely gonna touch, I'm barely touching it. Oh, look at that girl, dude. Oh. Get yep. that weed, Robert. Get yep. that weed. I'm on it. No. Oh my gosh. Cut it, cut it. <sighs> she didn't like that. She didn't like that. <laughs> Rip and drag. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now we're fishing, John. Now we're fishing. I got half of it off. Gosh, she took off. She didn't like that. I think about this fight now. I think about those. Careful, man. Careful. I can try to like start gently pulling her in. But I don't know. Going back to those to the shallows. Yeah, she is heading back up in there. Man, light tackle battle. On a big fish, you guys. Big fish. These fish, they're coming towards the end of their life cycle. And so uh, they're not gonna put up the fight and screaming runs quite like they do when they're silver up and uh, out in the lake. But they've still got a ton of endurance. This is a heavy fish. We are using light tackle. And uh, when this thing wants to go, there's no slowing it down, let alone stopping it. But for the most part, now that the, the, that initial explosion stopped, she's just kind of methodically, kind of lazily pulling right now. But then all of a sudden she got nervous and took off and, and ripped off 30 yards of line real quick, so. Yeah, there you go. Back up on her. You want me to? Oh, it's, oh, she's not ready. She's not ready. A lot of endurance. If you get it back over here close, I'll get that the rest of that grass off. <laughs> oh my God, dude, that's a fish, bro. Holy shit, that's a big fish. Oh my God, look at her, dude. Look at her tail. Oh, okay, look at she's her. ready. Look at her, look at her. Yep, yep, yep. Getting closer, Robert. I think, Robert. You, I think you got, got it. I think you got her in the back half. Yeah, just yep. Man, talk about a battle. <laughs> These things don't give up, man. Oh, uh, I hesitate to. All right, that's all off. She's close. I'm. I'm. I'm ready. I'm ready, but she's not. That fog, look at the fog now. <laughs> yep, 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 here we go. I, I will, I will, I will, but she's close. Look at, look at that. Nope, nope. I guess they gotta travel sometimes thousands of miles up river. And they're built for the job. You can extend that handle, you know. Oh, no. Oh, I see. All right. Oh! It's getting kind of eerie out here. That fog rolled in heavy. Man, now I get why those other guys are using broomsticks. These fish are no joke. All right. All right. There she is. She's close. I see her. Okay. Yep. Yep, yep, like five feet. Hang on, hang on. I, I will, I will, I will. I promise. I won't go for it until she's getting ready. Trust me, I don't want to screw this up after everything we've... Oh, man. I can't believe this. <laughs> this is insane. Things are no joke. Okay, okay, okay. Nope, nope, nope. She ain't gonna give it to you, obviously. 
Look at her. Yes. Come on, girl, give me a shot. There we go. There we go. I'm ready. I'm ready. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. I'm sorry, I was switching hands, but I scared her. I just can't believe this fish. <laughs> no way! <laughs> I thought we were there. I might crack open another beer. I feel like we got. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta get one of these from the kayak now that I'm seeing this. God, that was my fault, man. I, I flopped that net down and she she spooked from it. I didn't even think about it. There. She's real close. Okay. Real close. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. You gotta be laying up on top to slide that net. Yep, 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 yep. I'm on it. You gotta, you gotta get. Yep. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Lord have mercy, man. These fish are not pull up pushovers. You ready? No, 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 no. no. You gotta be right up on top. I know it. I know it. I was just trying to get get ready. Okay, we're ready. We're getting close here. Got her, man. Oh my god. <laughs> I about can't lift this thing in the boat, man. You kidding me? <laughs> Look at that fish, man. Are you kidding me? Dude, I did not realize she was that big. Even, even right there in the water. Look at that thing. Oh my God, John. It was worth the wait, and now I will not be leaving the Midwest till I get one of these dance. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at that fish, brother. <laughs> I'm out of breath. I didn't do anything. What'd I do? Look at that fish. <laughs> Man, I knew she was a big one, but that's that's a monster. How much? You, that's that's not 20 pounds. Oh my gosh. Got to be 20 pounds. 25. Yeah. 25. You guys, here it is. I mean, we are in overtime, fog rolled in. We're out of light. <laughs> Look at this fish. This is what we're out here for, ladies and gents. That is a landlocked king salmon. What, John, you tired or something? <laughs> After that quick little okay. freaking battle? Let's, let's weigh it. You guys, it may be hard to tell because this net's so big, but that is an enormous fish. <laughs> Brother, I cannot believe She's that big. I knew she was gonna be big, but oh my god, that's insane, man! I can't believe we got her. I do. That was a and precarious these, fight. The whole these, thing felt. These weeds. That whole fight felt just like any second we were about to experience even more heartbreak. <laughs> I cannot believe you just caught this thing, dude. Finally, that's a trophy fish. I don't care who you are, where you're from. Oh my goodness. Far from the first time, I have been reminded that persistence pays off. We earned this fish, my man. All right. You, ba you barely got her off the deck of the boat. <laughs> what is it, heavy or something? 24 and some change. Look at that, brother. 24. 24 pound fish. Yeah. Dude, that is so incredible. <laughs> I can't believe. They look big when they're jumping. It looked big while you were fighting it, but it really looked big when I tried to lift that damn net. <laughs> I thought I thought we might have to two-man it. Good lord. You guys, we did it. <laughs> we freaking got one. Good job on the net, man. Man, yeah, I had to be patient. That was a that was a battle. You guys, mission accomplished. <laughs> Again, this isn't the kind of fishing John guides for. He goes for these salmon when they're chrome, when they're silver, out in the main lake. It's a totally different operation, but he brought me out here. Uh, he still knew of this fishery and told me if I wanted a salmon this time of year, this was the only place, the only way to get them. And uh, got one, man. But now we're out of light and your boy Rob here has not caught one. So that's all the time we've got for today, but believe me when I say, 
I will see you guys right back here in this canal, <laughs> probably in my kayak. I'm gonna get one of these damn, there's, there's no way I'm leaving this place without one now that I've seen that thing up close. That's, that's fun, man. That's a good time. Well, thanks so much to John here for showing me such a good time, showing me how to get it done. I could not get it done. But I think, I mean, not only are we out of light, but the fog's rolled in, we, uh, we can't see anything. So we're gonna call it. Mission accomplished though, in overtime. I mean, there's no time left. Oh my God, that feels good. I don't even care that you've got it, not me. I, it, it, I just, God, I wanted to see one of those fish. Whew! Catch you guys next week. That was wild. These so fish are wild, man. Will gather enough light for all this? Yeah, this camera will. These cameras don't. Look at that fish, man! Are you kidding me? Dude, I did not realize she was that big. Even, even right there in the water. Look at that thing. Oh my God, John. It was worth the wait, and now I...